And we're just closing down on that wall thickness. Pushing there and just loading that downhill cut, keeping that pressure on the bevel. And it's just rubbing on that back edge. See where it's been rubbing? Look at that. That's solid gum there. See that there? There's what I've been rubbing. That's what I'm rubbing. Lower than the center of the tool, being there, and that's what's given me the cut. Is the gum spilling over the top? And look at that. Load it. Feel for that bevel there now. I can hear it and see it. I load it and keep it going. See that? Look at the grip. Pulling that there, that finger stays there, that just stretches through my hand, and there's the cut. Until you get this part of it right, lifting the handle, lifting, 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 keeping driving that cut, lifting right up, weight onto the left leg, and there it is. It's taken another mil and a half off that. See that there? Just yours as well, No, oh, it's just one off the road. Oh, yeah, no, I was using it. See, yeah. that's really pursuing. Most goblets that you see are too bloody thick. Because people think, oh, I'm going to break it. I'm not going to break it. No. So you keep going at that shape until it feels really, really right. Another one there. So we've now got that bevel to pick up on. Hear me feeling for that bevel there? Rub that bevel and then lift the handle about one degree and then just load the cut forward and lift, 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 lift and drop it over there. See that? It's another like middle and a half of a cut right in the right place. See, that's coming right. Lovely bit of wood. And just because we can, I'm going to push for the design, put a little fillet right beside it. And then we're going to come down around here. Nice downhill cutting to bring the grain out in this goblet. A little wee fillet tucked right in beside that bead. Look at that. And that 10 millimeter gouge in the rolling action cutting downhill. And really getting that stem, just that compound curve Picking it up from here, look at the grip and the motion of that tool. And it's just going to give you a full flowing curve, rubbing on the bevel and sweeping around with that. And there it is. So now just flowing that background into the stem so it all looks like one movement there. So we're just sweeping around there. That's the critical area to get that stem right. It's right in that point there. There it is. Good lighting's pretty essential to be able to see what you're doing. I'll show you why. If I just unplug that, you can't see much at all. See that there? You can't really see much at all, so good lighting. There it is. Did you see that? So the, I come the, the 10 millimeter gouge over on the side, get that little fillet, roll it over, do the half bead, and tuck it into that fillet there, and then you've got two fillets and a half bead right in the critical part of the goblet, and then I'll get my pencil where it's going to be cut off and I'll mark it. See that? So you've got a little straight there, then a fillet, then a round half bead and a fillet, the sweeping stem, up to another fillet of bead, and then it's just that full flow there. That, you know, the grace of those curves and the shapes of everything interlocking, and if you were to go and pick that up, put your fingers on it, it just wants to be held. You see that? You put your hand, put your hand there. See that? You just want to pick it up. So it's got that real grace and that shape. It'll fit your mouth when you're drinking out of it. And, you know, you've got a place to put your tongue there, you know, your lip, so it'll be comfortable to drink out of. That's amazing. Yeah, that's it. Stunning.